Hello everyone, my name is Berta and welcome back to my channel. This video is made in collaboration with Helia yeah Hamster. I got an idea for a collaboration a while ago and I proposed it to her. She is an amazing builder, so I decided maybe it would be nice if she could make a house without me having any influence on what kind of house it's gonna be. Then when she's done, she'd send me the house and I would have to, based on that house, come up with sims for that house. Does that make any sense? This is the family that I made. It will consist of four people. And I did make the mom and dad of this family with the story um, mode of create a sim. Because I thought, you know, I could make them exactly how I wanted them, but I like a challenge. And so I did the quiz and yeah, this was the result. So this lady here, that's going to be called Karen, by the way. She is a friend of the world. She likes to entertain people. She's also a foodie. So she likes to cook for people. And there's also a bar in the house. So she likes to give a lot of parties. By the way, this house in, is in Del Sol Valley. So I decided to incorporate the fame into this family. But I'll talk about that later. She's a very sweet woman. She cares a lot and she has a good bond with her kids. She is in the business career, which is also why she has quite a lot of money and she's also very hardworking. But in her, in her spare time, she likes to paint. I based that off the large amount of paintings in the house. And there's easel, so I thought at least one person in this house had to paint and it's, it's her. She's also very neat, like the house is very neat. There are some like decorations, but it's not overly cluttered or anything. And she is also a romantic sim. So I gave her this um, evening gown with the uh, body chain and I wanted to make it a bit less revealing, but I didn't find a way how to do that. So eventually I decided to just go for it like this. And she, you know, she's an adult, not a young adult anymore. She's an adult and she might be getting a bit older, but she still knows and dares to be sexy, you know? So yeah, she, she's a very sweet and outgoing woman, likes to entertain people. And because I had her, I made her with the story mode, she had a few skills and stuff already as well. I don't remember because I actually forgot to write it down or make a screenshot of the results. But if I remember correctly, she's in the business career, which is also why later in the video I will make a um, business uh, outfit for her. And she has the cooking skill and I believe also the charisma skill, but I'm not sure about that one. And she also started with like higher funds. The, they live in a big house in Del Sol Valley, as I said before. The house is really big, like they have a pool and there are swings in the backyards for the kid, in the backyards, I mean in the backyard for the kids. And yeah, it's just a very big, neat, beautiful family home. They, they are proud to live there and rightfully so, because it is a beautiful house. As a person, she uh, really supports crea the creativity in the house. So if the kids want to do something creative, like with the art, she's like, yeah, go for it. Even though she's like a businesswoman herself, she's like, if you want to go into arts, I get it. I like art too. So yeah, also the name Karen. <laughs> I am very bad with, you know, coming up with names. So I asked my boyfriend when I finished this sim, like, okay, what name would you give this sim? And he was like, oh my god, she is definitely a typical Karin, which is like the Dutch version of Karen. So I decided, yep, that's going to be it. She's going to be called Karin. <laughs> so Karen is her name. Their last name is Brown, by the way. It was just a random name, not based on anything. I think I forgot to say, but she also, she's into yoga. Like she goes to yoga with her friends you know, like once a week or twice a week. She really likes that, you know, to calm her mind down, get rid of the stress of her job and just relax, you know? So yeah, I think we are almost done with this sim. I'll start talking about the dad for a second. 
he's called Tyler and he's a famous athlete. Like he's the, even though she, like Karen is in the, in the business career, he is bringing in lots of money and providing for the family. And so together they are quite rich. But yeah, he is a famous athlete and he used to be a very sweet, caring guy. But fame has changed him a bit. And he now has the mean trait. <laughs> I didn't want him to get the mean trait, but only because of one question that, like in the quiz of story mode, which I didn't think would have such a big effect, gave him the mean trait. So he's mean. He got changed by all the fame, like uh, he thinks he is uh, better than all the rest and that he's got like he needs to have the most influence on people even though he cares he cares a lot about his kids don't get me wrong he cares about his kids but he's not a very loving person if that makes sense he's also very materialistic hence the big house <laughs> uh, he doesn't mind showing off his wealth and he also doesn't mind showing off his body by the way <laughs> which you can see i mean his body is um pretty ripped <laughs> obviously because he's a famous athlete like it makes sense he's also active for that reason and his uh, aspiration is the uh, what is it bodybuilder thing so that's his uh, his personality but as i said he he doesn't have the best relationship with his kids he cares about them but he's not the best role model and the kids they they notice that like He's not the most amazing dad, dad out there, you know. Um, and also for skills, I again don't know what his skills from the story mode are, but I believe he has handiness skill and he is in the athletic career, which makes sense. So yeah, that was all I know about him. As you can see in the video in a few seconds, probably. Um, I did use the genetics option to create their children because you know i could have made like the the perfect sims and stuff but as i said before i like a challenge so i wanted to work with what i got instead of creating everything from scratch myself so as you maybe can see like they they all the the generated sims like they have no chin i believe it's a common theme in the genetics option in everyone's game but they have no chin it's it's crazy but yeah this is jason he is only a kid and he is uh, very active like his dad and he likes to work out with his dad as well he has a lot of uh, sporty stuff in his room and there's also like a home gym for tyler to work out in and jason just likes to join him there and he also likes to swim in the pool in the backyard and uh, in his room, there's also like a lot of animal posters. So his first trait that I gave him is active. But if I could give him more traits or predict what his future traits would be, he would be um, an animal lover, like a dog lover or a cat lover. He also, he's in a, he's in a bowling club <laughs> with his friends. He goes there weekly just to hang out and have some fun. He really likes doing it. It's not like he's obsessed with bowling but it's just for him a fun way to be with his friends and you know get out of house get out of the house you know his dad wants him to be a famous athlete as well but he's not so sure about that he thinks he wants to be an astronaut and there's this uh, i based this on the like the what is it called planetarium lamp thingy on the ceiling of his room and his room is also very messy. So I thought if I had to give him another trade, it would be the slob trade. So yeah, that, that's uh, Jason. As you can see, I gave Jason some uh, space and animal themed clothing, especially the athletic outfit. There's like a cat in space. I thought it was perfect. So I gave him that one. And uh, now we're moving on to Layla. Don't ask me how I come up, came up with this name. It's just, it's Layla, all right? Even though she is not a sim that I, you know, would have come up with by myself, I think she is very pretty. Layla, she is a, a modest and very sweet girl. She is very neat like her mom, which you can see reflected in her room, which is like clean and white and not cluttered at all. 
But yeah, she, since she has grown up in this like sterile environment that her mother created, she's a bit squeamish. Like she doesn't know how to handle gross things and bugs. She's like, ee. <laughs> she's squeamish <laughs> and um, she's also a music lover she has a violin in her room so I thought she would be um, she wanted to be a professional violinist is that how you say it violin player let's just keep it at that she wants to be a professional violin player she doesn't want to be famous for it but she does just want to make a living from making music she doesn't really like standing in the the big spotlight like her dad and she has seen her dad change as well she's like I don't I don't want to get famous. I just want to live from my f live from my music, and you know she she'd be happy. And that's also why she has the music lover trait, and the um, I don't know what the name is, but the the music uh, aspiration. And if I would give her another trait, I would give her the creativity one. She is a very creative sim. She kind of has taken that from her mom. Uh, she has a few good friends. She's not really, she doesn't really like partying. She's more of a hang out at home with the girls and just chat, you know, that kind of girl. And from all the people in the household, she is like the most down to earth. Yeah, she has a very good relationship with her mom. She, you know, when her mom gives a host a party, she likes to help prepare everything, cook the food and, you know, she, she likes to help her mom with that kind of stuff. They have a very good bond. They are very close. They tell each other a lot. Like, all in all, this family, you know, it has its problems. But they do all really care about each other. Like, they are a, a good, like, a well-functioning family. So, yeah. Let me just be honest with you guys. This voice over today, I am feeling so anxious. The last few days, I've been anxious and stressed and... You know, normally with the voiceover, it's not my favorite part to do. But right now, I'm I'm literally sitting here with a heart rate that is too high to be healthy, if that makes any sense. I'm very nervous for some reason. I, I can't explain. If you are a YouTuber yourself, do you experience this as well? If you have to do voiceovers or just, you know, have to speak to the microphone, do you experience nervousness and anxiousness, anxiety? Do you experience that? Because I usually only have it a little bit, but that's fine. But today I'm like, what, what is happening to me? Yeah, so I don't know. I just had to get that off my chest, I guess. Also, I thought this, this evening dress for her, like the formal dress was a perfect dress for her when she would give uh, shows for her, you know, with her violin. I thought it was beautiful. And yeah, this, this athletic uh, outfit that I gave her even though she's more into the music and stuff like that she does know like okay it's important to be healthy and take care of my body she is also very ripped I don't know if you saw it in the video but she has she has a, she has those muscles you know so she uh, she plays tennis and she again likes to swim in the backyard they all like to swim I mean I I would want to swim in a pool in my backyard as well if I had one. So I don't blame them. Pools are amazing. I also want to talk a bit about Hell Yeah Hamster's channel. She is an amazing builder. She is also from the Netherlands, by the way, just like me. So yay. Um, <laughs> she makes, as I said, mostly builds. And she's really good at it. Like seriously good at building and I wish I could build like her, but I can't. <laughs> so yeah, amazing builds. And she also makes creative sim videos, not as often as she makes builds, but she also does creative sim videos. And she has a, what is it called? Sim City? Yeah, Sim City um, Let's Play going on. So if you like that game, go check her out as well. Her voiceovers are very nice to listen to. So if you haven't, seen one of her videos yet just go check it out we also worked together on a collaboration before it was the um, collaboration where we would create the zodiac signs as sims uh, this was organized by the sims reaper and i made taurus and i believe she made leo the sign leo as a sim 
So again, if you want to see those videos, go check out the links in the description because they are very nice. But yeah, we are nearing the end of the video. So I just want to thank you all for watching. Please go watch videos by Helia Hamster because she is cool. And let me know what your favorite outfit is. And do you like this family? Like, I think they are very interesting to play with. And I'm not sure about a CC list. Like I've been thinking about doing CC lists, but they are so much work and I'm so busy at the moment. But if you really want me to do a CC list of this family, please let me know in the comments. So that's all for today. <laughs> Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.